Before we introduce our seniors entering the military, we would like to take a moment and ask that anyone who is currently or has served in the past, please rise so that we may take this moment to honor your service in the military. students making the same choice and following the same pathway and with that and for dedicating a por portion of your lives to the service of the United States of America we appreciate it so very much Our, my first introduction this evening is a bit bittersweet from the army we have Thomas Huddleston who is the son of James and Sharon Huddleston However, today Thomas cannot be with us because he is graduating from basic training. Standing in for our Air Force representation is Marine Sergeant Stephen Bobby. From the Air Force, we have entering Miss Ashley Rhodes, daughter of John and Mary Rhodes of Hillsboro, Missouri.
Sergeant First Class Patrick Cullen will be joining us next. Sergeant First Class Cullen is with the Missouri National Guard. The first student he will be pinning this evening is Caleb Denning. Caleb is the son of Matthew and Melanie Bell of Hillsboro, Missouri. Caleb Denning, Missouri National Guard. Next, we have Nathan Drillingus. Son of Ray and Laura Drillingus of Cedar Hill and Don Lado of Fenton, Missouri. Nathan appears this evening in his military uniform in lieu of graduation regalia as he has already been sworn into the National Guard in 2013. He's already completed basic training as well. In August, Nathaniel will go to Fort Leonard Wood to complete his advanced training to become a military police officer. Missouri National Guard. Elizabeth Kohler. Elizabeth Kohler is the daughter of James Kohler and the sister of Anna Alexandria. Elizabeth Kohler, Missouri National Guard. And finally, to this amazing testament to the service that our students will provide and the sacrifice their parents are making, we welcome Mr. Luke Roberts, 2003 graduate of West Point. to formally appoint Mr. Ryan Schweitzer to the West Point United States Military Academy. Come on up, Ryan. Mr. Schweitzer is the very first graduate of Hillsboro High School to be accepted into West Point. My pleasure to be here at Hillsborough High School representative Ryan Schweitzer with his appointment to the United States Military Academy. For most of you uh, that know, and for some of you that may not know, uh, West Point graduates have served our country in many capacities uh, since it was founded in 1802. Uh, the most common would be Generals uh, Grant, Eisenhower, Robert E. Lee, uh, General Custer. Uh, our, our current uh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Martin Dempsey, is a graduate, and also uh, Mike Krzyzewski, uh, a graduate of West Point, class of 1969. He actually played basketball under Bob Knight. So, 
whenever we say, my, my parents had this plaque that, say, that says much of the history that we teach at West Point is made by the students that we taught. So it truly does resonate um, with all the tradition. West Point demands a particular kind of student, one who's extremely motivated, physically fit, possesses high academic acumen, and the burning desire to be a leader. To be accepted, you have to be receive a member. There's two, two, uh, two steps. You have to receive a nomination from a member of Congress, uh, either a congressman, senator, or and also an appointment from West Point, which is essentially the acceptance. Um, and the only way to survive at West Point is to successfully juggle the physical demands, academic rigors, and leadership um, tests, I guess you can say, that West Point, and all the academies for that matter, and all the military um, branches uh, and services put you through. Uh, this year, over 15,000 high school applicants uh, applied, and only 1,200 were selected. So speaks to, to Ryan and his hard work, determination uh, to you know, kind of trudge through the mud to make it through the process. So Hillsborough High School should be honored to have one of its own uh, in the uh, in the next West Point class. They'll be starting, uh, I guess, June second. Ryan told me he'll be going uh, or July second. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to send you off too soon. <laughs> It'll come soon enough. So for uh, for Ryan and all aspiring candidates, um, West Point offers a fully paid four-year uh, scholarship, I guess you can say, um, for college, and then also military training um, for the, in the Army and leadership development at the premier institution of its kind. You know that along with Air Force and Navy, I don't want to leave those guys out. And if you had to put a number on it, it would be valued at over $350,000 if you had to you know, shell out the money yourself. Um, so there's a lot that goes into each um, student uh, cadet at this point. So at this time, uh, it just gives me great pleasure to again um, congratulate Ryan Schweitzer on his appointment to West Point on behalf of the United States, the President of the United States of America. Again, congratulations, Ryan. It, it is a very big deal. Enjoy the HHS band's performance of Salvation is Created.
Hillsboro High School, the graduating seniors who receive highest academic honors are those who have earned a cumulative grade point average of over 4.0. Dr. Freeman will now recognize those students along with their parents. We ask that parents and students meet in the area in front of the stage when introduced. I'm so very proud to present these students to you. These are the students in the class of 2014 who have earned above a 4.0 grade point average. I bet some of us didn't know that was possible. Will these students prove it to be true? The first student I would like to introduce is Miss Ashley Maynard. <laughs> Ashley is the daughter of Dr. Paul and Cindy Maynard of Festus, Missouri. Next, we have Ms. Sydney Gepkin. <laughs> Sydney is the daughter of Paul and Jill Gepkin of Hillsboro, Missouri. Brian Reed. Brian is the son of Rebecca Clark of Hillsboro, Missouri, and Joe Reed of Herculaneum, Missouri. Autumn Shepherd. Autumn is the daughter of Danny and Tanya Shepherd of Hillsboro, Missouri. And next we have Mr. Duncan Nowak. Duncan is the son of Gary and Kelly Nowak of Hillsboro, Missouri. Miss Alexandra Emily. <laughs> Alexandra is the daughter of Joseph and Mary Emily of Hillsboro, Missouri. <laughs> Miss Madeline Clifton. <laughs> Maddie is the daughter of David and Lisa Clifton of DeSoto, Missouri. Miss Hannah Russell. <laughs> Hannah is the daughter of Brandon and Melissa Russell of Hillsboro, Missouri. <laughs> Miss Lauren Gosky. Lauren is the daughter of John and Jennifer Herman of Peebley, Missouri. We welcome again Mr. Ryan Schweitzer. Ryan is the son of Miss Lori Smith of Hillsboro, Missouri. Nathaniel Williams. Are truly cumulative. We learned just today at around, oh, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock that two more of our seniors have achieved GPAs over the 4.0 mark. They are Tanner Sutton, son of Michael and Rachel Sutton of Hillsboro, Missouri, and Rachel Johnson. Johnson of Hillsboro, Missouri. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before you are the 14 students in the class of 2014 who attained a grade point average of over 4.0.
hope you may go ahead and see, and our top honor students are going to share their sentiments with you at this time. They were each held to between a three and five minute long speech. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 